Yo, what's going on guys? Black Halo here. Today we are playing Jax in the jungle. The matchups we have for today, Aurelia versus Darius Top Lane, Jax in the jungle versus Graves. We're gonna be starting E here. As soon as you auto tech a camp, you wanna instantly reactivate your E. And then it'll dodge that auto attack and it'll be pretty nice times clearing. So Katarina mid versus Azir. We got Jin in the bot lane versus Yasuo. I thought it was gonna, it kind of made me freeze up for a second. I was like, oh, okay, a little bit of off meta type deal in a sense. Not all the time you see a, a Yasuo bot lane. And in the support lane, that role, Bard versus Jenna. So as you can see, started red going scuttle crab. Just gonna prioritize these. We swatted Graves out on the map there with my ward. Might just be able to get a kill on this dude if we... Ah, uh, he's pretty far away. He got some free damage. Yeah, that was... Well, then again, baited cat. Or cat. <laughs> can't speak. <laughs> In order to get some damage. Yeah, she didn't know where that freaking jungler was either. Yep, she's dead. Oh, well. All right. Nothing you can do about that. It's kind of unfortunate. I mean, I didn't tell her to jump in, you know? I didn't tell her to play like that. So that's in no way my fault. It really isn't my fault at all that she went down there. So even if they decide to blame you in situations like that, don't fret it. I couldn't get my auto attack off, huh? I missed my auto attack. Gray's just still having to be in that bush. I mean, I feel like I have the advantage here, but we don't see where the enemy mid laner is, and I just missed a bunch of farm under tower, so. Yeah, I could have picked up mid. That was the best idea, but I saw that Aurelia was dropping a lot of pressure on Darius close to the kill, so I went over there, helped her out a little bit. Gray's was also top side, so got vision on that. Pretty much what you want to do, though, as Jax in the jungle is prioritize farming trying to gank as many lanes as possible too i'm being very present in these lanes as you can see so it's something you definitely want to do i play a decent amount of jacks man i've been playing jacks for a while got a few skins on them as well and i've used them for elo as a pocket pick and i enjoy doing it because he ends up scaling to be a monster man that's what i play jacks for is the scaling honestly so let me know if you guys like jacks in the comment section below I'd also appreciate it if you show some support to the channel by hitting that subscribe button and liking the video if you do enjoy the outcome because I will be showing you guys just what I do really. And what I'm going to end up doing is max and counter strike and then W. I'm trying it differently here. I'm doing a different max setting because a lot of the times like I I switch it up. I max Q at times first. I max W and I feel like W is a really good ability to max first but just for this game specifically we're gonna be maxing E first so the runes we got Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, and Inspiration, Time Warp, Tonic and Magical Footwear I'm liking these runes because you get a lot of extra sustain from the Time Warp and with this inspiration tree getting a free magical footwear a free 300 gold basically so I, and I don't have to buy boots I get them at 10 minutes pretty nice pretty nice so I'm not gonna bother really with bot lane I do know that Graves is here as well so I'm gonna ping him out and being active around the map dropping no 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 don't come down here I mean she could there's no reason to there really isn't a reason to. Is he really gonna try and go for this? Nobody's looking? Yeah, I got my bot lane following. Alright, so I say that damage is worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up a bit here. Go for my next camp. I say that's worth. We did let them know where I was, but I denied him the gank opportunity. As long as he doesn't try and do anything. Yeah, he might try and go for a mid gank here, so I'm pinging it out. 
and enable my counter strike. Yeah, I guess these camps really want to reset. Jeez. So pretty much with Jax's abilities, that's really good that Katarina got that kill mid, by the way, even though she got ganked. With Jax's abilities, uh, his relentless assault is how he gets a attack speed steroid and how he duels very well. So the reason why I got Conquer is pretty much because it scales well with his passive. I'm gonna get Blood Razor. I won't really worry about getting my Stalker's Blade quite yet because I just want to focus on farming. I'll get the extra damage instead of the extra utility from the smite. But pretty much his abilities, Jax's basic attacks increase his attack speed by 5% over 2.5 seconds. And it stacks up to 8 times. And if you run out of the cooldown with his Relentless Assault, they will fall off one at a time. So since they, they last 2.5 seconds or so like that. You stack it up all the way to eight times every two seconds, I believe. Uh, yeah, it'll just every single two seconds, one, two, and a half, and then it'll start falling off like that. In two seconds, two and a half seconds, it'll start falling off. The stacks. Uh, looks like Darius is inting. <laughs> Pretty free, nice. Just keeping my eyes on the map. <laughs> WTF is right, man. He really just ran without paying too much attention. I think he was just tilted that everybody else isn't doing as well as he wanted them to. But yeah, this is pretty much a breakdown of what abilities you should max with Jax. I do believe that Counter Strike maxing it first is a good idea because it helps you clear faster, gives you more CC you can use against the enemy team and in the jungle too. Because this stun really does help you out. It blocks a lot of abilities too. I really like it, man. I'm going to max W and then Q. But Jax's abilities are all very well. Really good ability. A really good kit on this champion, to be honest. So I'm going to drop a pink ward for the top laner here. Try and get red buff away from the graves and get out of dodge here. So the rest of... Uh, I'm gonna go over the rest of Jax's abilities once I clear this. Let's see if Graves actually decides to come over here. It'll be interesting if he does because I have no smite. Oh, he's over here mid. I'll think about going over there actually. Might not be a, an amazing idea, but I'll ping it. What if he dashes over the wall? That'd be so free. Okay, I'll enable my Counter-Strike here. flash on him to get the auto attack because I was not in range <laughs> so that's pretty good for me now I'm not too sure where Darius is I'm gonna go ahead and back here all right he's still top so I finally got my boots I thought I'd get him at 10 minutes but I got him in nine minutes okay every takedown you acquire you get the boots 30 seconds sooner okay that's something I didn't know so the better you do you get rewarded for it and that rhymes so it's definitely true so be sure to hit that like button if you are enjoying the video so far i would appreciate it a lot we're doing good in this jungle matchup it's pretty simple man you don't have to be too you don't have to force things much man that's what i learned with Jax. like my last Jax video wasn't all that special but i just farmed and let my team do the work i think i i did do something of that like my last Jax video i'll link it but it wasn't all that spectacular, you know, but it was just, you just gotta farm, man. A big part of this champion is farming, because he is a late game champion, not early game, so. He does provide decent ganks early, though. I like his ganks early. Because he's able to have a super long range jump with his Q. That's a pretty long range right there. So, yeah, that's his leap strike. You jump to a unit, dealing extra damage skills off of AD and AP. Your W Empower gives you extra range, extra damage. And if you activate your W and then Q, then your W's of damage will be applied to your leap. So that's how that works. All right, so I'm gonna start putting points into that. I hope I didn't show there, but ja uh, Graves is dead anyways. So I'm gonna go for this Drake. Yeah, he does these things very quickly too. So a good way to sneak dragon when this plan is up 
All you have to do is just hop over. Even if the Skullo Crab is here, they won't see you doing it. you just be able to hop right back over the wall. They won't see you doing it as long as you don't push up too far onto the Skullo Crab to where you get revealed on the vision. So I'll hop in here, see if I can dive these people or catch them before they come back to lane. I'm not even gonna bother with that turret. I feel like bot is pretty behind. How much mana does this dude have? Not much. Doesn't have much mana, but I'm still gonna go for it. I'm not backing off. And Gromp's up too. I could have did that in the meantime. I don't think I'm gonna get any assistance. I just denied them, <laughs> I guess. Because I feel like me dropping that damage on the Asua is hard for him to heal that back up. Yeah, he had to use a pot. So I just jump on the plant. You can queue on plants by the way, jump on them and get out of get out of situations that you don't want to be in. So I'll go back to farming farm. Raptor's going, my grop should be up by that time. So my counter strikes <laughs> this train man this train just so happens to ride by it's super loud man i live like right next to a train and it just wants to interrupt me as soon as i get a good youtube video going right like geez well all of my lanes are under control that's something i've made sure to do and also as you can see like the way i combo that camp was pretty much perfect I'm just used to doing it because of muscle memory at this point so you can run that back I don't know the exact combo I do to make it look like that because I, I don't really know how to say it but I can go back into the jungle and do it I'm better at performing these actions on jacks and really explaining them but you know the gameplay you can learn a lot from it because of the builds that I show you gotta uh, so, wait a second, is my interface? Okay, I was gonna make sure my hood was scale right. But yeah, my um, my gameplay is really good to look back at. That's why I recommend people to watch it because of the decisions I make. You know, I'm a decently high elo player. Like, I'm high platinum in platinum 2 right now. And I did not get boosted. I earned the rank. I played Udir as a main champion. And right now we just chilling to the victory. Pretty much how you how you do it. I'm not gonna bother forcing anything. Just prioritizing my damage. <laughs> my laners are doing a lot of the work right now to be honest, so it's, that's ideal. You know, I I remember a quote from Pants Our Dragon. The reason why he wins a lot of his games is not because he solo carries them but he decides to allow himself to get carried in scenarios so that's something you definitely gotta consider I stunned him I don't have my Q up I stunned him <laughs> providing the CC for my team to follow up that's what I like to see Jeez, man. This cat is going in. I want to join in for the int. <laughs> I gave her a way to get out. I need to jump. Wow, I guess she didn't have the jump. Yeah, she didn't have her E. Because if she had her E, Katarina, she would have been able to hop to the gym. No! Yes! <laughs> he over here trying to kill me, man. I don't want to get shut down. I don't want to die. Yasuo is, does a lot of damage even when he's behind. That's something I realized. Like, even if Yasuo is like 1405, he's still going to do a lot of damage. So, that's something you got to look out for. For sure. So, it looks like that I can push top and then back probably the best option for me here but yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video i really do appreciate all the support if you're still watching much love
you know, not everybody watches this far into the video. And go ahead and get out of dodge here before I get ghosted on, or I don't know, and get killed somehow. But I don't want to end up going down. Want to preserve my KDA. This is a stomp, though. It's definitely a stomp. My team doesn't always do this well. Got to be honest, but you know I appreciate them coming through for me for sure. And we're gonna go ahead and get things on rolling. I'm gonna get Ninja Tabby here. I really don't need boots. I think I get um I get CDR because I don't have much CDR. I don't really need Mercs. I don't really need Ninja Tabby. The fact that they're so behind. I mean Mercs would probably be best option, but Lucidity for my cooldown on my summoner spells, that's what it does. Reduces summoner spell cooldowns by 10% and gives you 10% CDR so I can use my abilities more often. Jump around the place too. That's pretty good. I like these boots, man. They're tactical. Provide utility. Hard not to like it. So I'm gonna go and pick up Dragon. I think I'll do Wolves first. So pretty much what you want to do when you go up to a camp, this is what I wanted to explain, but you know, I, I decided to do it a little bit later. But then you're getting value out of the video. So as soon as you auto attack, you want to reset with your E. And then you want to auto attack reset with your W as well. And then when you pair those two mechanics together, you'll end up getting really nice animation cancels and it'll look really smooth with Jax, how he spins his lantern. This in this instance a trophy. I really like this skin, man. XKT Jax is what I'm using. Really dope skin. Gotta admit. So you see really a pushing top. And you also see since three of them are around this side, Jen has got free time bot to do this. That's ideal. To have two lanes pushing at the same time we already have a nice hip. That's how you end games right there. Finishing up very quickly. Avoiding the throw for sure. Do not want to deal with the throw. <laughs> he actually hit that NATO. I'm surprised he didn't go in. His wind wall is down. Go ahead and back off here since there's nothing else for us to get. It's important to back off after you get inhibitors because Especially in that scenario, you can't push any longer. That's the only thing you can do is really back off, reset, and avoid giving up free gold. That's a big thing. And I'm surprised this game still isn't over with. The amount that we're... Like, this is something that I wonder about League of Legends games at points, to be honest. Because it's like... It's so weird. <laughs> like, we're stomping so hard, but it's still a 20-minute game. And we haven't ended. You know what I mean? Like... This game should just automatically end at this point. Like, why are we... I've been saying this for a little bit. I'm not too sure if I'm the only one who feels like this, but... I mean... I feel like we're stomping too hard to actually... You know, not be done. I mean, I'm pretty sure the game is going to be over soon, but... Obviously, if we don't throw, but... It's just... Kind of odd. Like, peculiar to me, like... How the enemy team has such a... Not necessarily... They don't have an opportunity, but the game just goes so long... As if there's potential for them to keep going. As if it wants to give them a chance to come back. But they're so behind that it doesn't even matter. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> like, game is legit over. So, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, Arena, to the channel, Arena. I'll check you in the next video. Then, legit. Peace. And that was a good one.